This morning, the President and the First Lady lit a Yartzeit candle to remember all those who were massacred by Hamas in what was the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. We have done everything we can and continue to use every medium possible to make sure that people don't move on, that they don't allow the hostages to be forgotten. We mourn with the families who still have not seen their loved ones returned, uh, who are still being held hostage by Hamas. We are here today to pray for the safe return of the remaining hostages, to remember what has been a horrifically difficult year. I can't believe here we are a year later with seven Americans still hostage, um, uh, and with all these Americans who've been killed with Iran and its proxies continuing to attack not only Israel, but the United States of America. President Biden continues to work around the clock to try to reach a ceasefire and, and hostage release deal. I will never stop fighting for the release of all the hostages, including the American citizens living and deceased. It is disgraceful that we have an American president and vice president who haven't done a thing. Vice President Harris, our message is bring them home. We're still waiting for Sinwar to accept the deal. Sinwar is the Osama bin Laden of October 7th. Uh, and it is Sinwar who has put everyone in Gaza in terrible danger. And it is Sinwar who is refusing to release those hostages. We want to give Israel the right and the ability to finish what Hamas started. We don't always agree with elected leaders on different policy positions or how they may approach any given decision, but uh, I stand with Israel. Three things can be true at the very same time. Israel must be allowed to eliminate Hamas and Hezbollah. The United States must do everything possible to support Israel in that cause. All hostages must be returned. Thank you.